Good morning. It is currently Monday. It's around 5 a.m. and I'm drinking a charged cranberry apple juice from Panera. So this is basically like a caffeinated juice, which is really nice because I'm s I started to whiten my teeth. And you're not supposed to drink coffee while you whiten your teeth because it can counteract it, basically. And so this is really nice because I can still get caffeine. So anyway, I am about to style my hair for the first time since getting it done. So I wanted to kind of take you along and see if it's a success or not. Okay, so I have the thing heating up. I'm going to brush it out. And I usually just do two sections. I washed it last night and then when it was like almost all the way dry but still a little damp, I put in this Unite 7 Seconds Detangler Leave-In Conditioner. for just a minute before I kind of brush through but but I want to show you the product that I use every single time I do my hair it's the argan oil and usually I, I kind of go between the extra strength and just the regular um, but this one's the extra for now which is probably good for the dead hairs going on but I feel like it's like been the key to keeping my hair healthy I just put like a dime size in my palms rub them in and then I just kind of brush through okay so final thoughts are good I do want to kind of work on trying to get more volume at the top of my head because when I got it done she did a really great job of doing that and I haven't ever really been too successful getting it volumized I think I need to get like a texture spray maybe I think that might help Also just remembered I don't think I ever showed you the shampoo and conditioner that she recommended that I got and I'm going to show you now it's the Isles formula it's just a shampoo and conditioner that's pretty much it they are definitely more on the pricey side I think they were like around $50 each and then the detangler spray I think was like 20 ish so it's definitely a little bit more pricey but I just kind of really wanted to invest in something good just to keep my hair healthy for now as I kind of see how my hair reacts but I think it's all gonna be just fine Hello, it's currently lunchtime and I think I'm gonna head to Fred Meyer and just grab some sushi or something quick and normally on my lunch break I just do some Instagram work and watch TV and eat so I'll probably just make a post grab some lunch and that's pretty much it nothing too exciting but yeah just got off work and headed to the library good morning it is currently tuesday I just got to work and I stopped at Panera 
and got a charged lemonade. This one's the mango citrus. It's actually really good. I don't really have too much else to say on here. I'm pretty much just working today and then tonight is my young adult group with the church and I try to go to that every Tuesday but I don't make it every single Tuesday so it's kind of it's kind of iffy if I'm gonna um, be at that tonight or not but anyway I'm gonna head in the office and yeah that's pretty much the update nothing too exciting hello happy Thursday I just got back from work and I filmed a little bit yesterday and I was trying to get some stuff done but I didn't really end up doing much. The only thing I did do was I self-tanned, if you can tell. I definitely look a little darker, I feel like, but it might be a little splotchy because I haven't washed it off yet. So tonight, as far as self-care, all I'm gonna do is wash my hair, wash off my tan. I'll probably try to whiten my teeth tonight too. I had whitened it two nights in a row and then two nights without, so I'm gonna do it again. If I do it too many days in a row, my teeth get really sensitive. Um, other than that, the rest of the night, I'm pretty much just going to fold some of my laundry, try to get my room a little organized, and I'm getting ready to order a new bed, and I've slowly been acquiring some pieces for it as far as like bedding, but I haven't actually ordered the mattress or the bed frame. I currently sleep on a twin bed, and I'm getting a queen size bed, kind of just revamping my room. I've been ordering some things, and a couple of them I'm going to take back and swap out for different things. I'm just kind of like testing out what colors go together. So I'll show you really quickly. First things first, this is the comforter that I got and I really like it. It's a really nice texture and thickness. I also got a chair that I love. But then the other things that I got were, I just got a pair of silk pillowcases about this color that look really good with the bed spread. But then the sheets that I got are what I think I'm gonna take back. They're just way too warm toned wanted to get white sheets but because I self tan I knew it would come off on them so I would need to get some dark ones so I think I might just get black and just make sure it's not showing whenever my bed's made because I'll have these as like the actual pillowcases and then I have the shams that came with the comforter so I haven't taken anything out of the plastic because I wanted to keep it protected but this is the chair color and these are the curtains and I really like how those colors go together but like, it just doesn't go with anything else. So I'm almost rethinking this whole bed spread. I just really like the texture and I don't know if I'd be able to find that one in a better color. So I'm gonna try to figure a little bit of that out tonight too. But for now, laundry. Okay, so it is currently 9 o'clock and I cleaned up my room, I folded my laundry. I didn't really do anything else other than that, but I will probably plan to vacuum tomorrow. I did look online a little bit, didn't find anything yet. Um, but for now, I'm just going to go shower, wash my hair, wash this tan off, and pretty much just chill out, watch TV, and then I'll head to bed. Good morning, happy Saturday. It is kind of a fun day planned. So last night I ordered my avocado green mattress. So I ordered a queen mattress with the added pillow top and then I just ordered two of the avocado green pillows. And I'm so, so excited. But I wanna make sure that I have the right bedding for when it comes in. So today um, me and my friend are going to Target. And then um, other than that, it's a pretty chill day. I think I'm gonna try to go to church this afternoon. But I wanna show you um, what's going on in my room and kind of my plans for it. And then I'll show you obviously whatever I get today at the store. So it's a little messy, so just ignore that. But basically, this is what we're working with right now. I have a desk and a little chair, a dresser, nightstand, a little twin bed, and then this little box storage with my TV. And then this is the chair, obviously. So basically what I'm planning on doing is getting rid of 
almost all of it. I'm gonna put a queen bed right here and then two nightstands on either side of it and then I'm gonna put a long dresser here and then put my TV on top of that. Put my chair in this little corner with maybe like a little plant or like a reading lamp or something cute. Um, but that's pretty much it. I also wanna get some different wall art. I have a little Polaroid wall that I like but I think I just wanna like change it up a little bit and then I have this little thing. But anyway, I just made my coffee and I'm going to go get ready for the day. Okay, so I just finished getting ready for the day. Just got this cute little balloon sleeve sweatshirt thing and then I'm just wearing some black bike shorts let me see if I can show you okay so I'm standing on a chair right now but I got these cute little green rings on Amazon that are fun kind of go with the outfit and then I have these cute little sneakers that I got from Nordstrom Rack I think they're little Nikes and they have little colorful fun stuff going on in there but that's the fun little casual outfit for the day. I'm just waiting for my friend to get here and then we're going to Target first. Okay, so we got back from the mall and we went on a little walk. I got back from Target from earlier and I'm about to head to church. I'm gonna run downstairs and borrow my sister's sweater though because I don't really wanna wear this to church. But anyway, before I left, I wanted to give you a little haul of everything I got from Target and even a couple of things I picked up at the mall. First things first, this, I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do this because there's a lot, but basically, I got a few things that I'm gonna take back as well that I put in my car. But the comforter that I had bought, I am going to return and get a white one because everything that I have is a little bit more cool toned. I kind of want to keep it that way. I got this long pillow to put in the front. So it's really cute. I'm very excited about it. And then I got this comforter, which is going to be like, I'm going to put it under the actual comforter that I'm going to order. And this one is going to be basically the one that I sleep with. And I got a couple of little fun things. So this is just a cute little vase that I'll put on my nightstands when I get them and then this little lamp these are such a steal at Target they're only $12 and they're just like cute little lamps and then the most prized possession of the whole haul this little dude it's like a boucle little stool to put with the chair and it's so soft and comfy and it's usually a hundred dollars but because I bought the four model they gave it to me for 75 okay so I just got done with church and now I'm in the Target parking lot and I'm gonna do my little returns and then grab something for dinner sushi sounds really good but I'm gonna just obviously see what they have I don't know if they actually have sushi at Target so I know they do at Fred Meyer that's really good but I don't know about here so we'll find out. I got back from Target. They didn't have any sushi, so I ended up just getting a box of frozen vegan chicken nuggets. I really don't know why. It was just the only thing that sounded good. 
that I knew would be easy to make that was like somewhat healthy. I don't know why them being vegan made me think they were more healthy. Probably, probably wasn't, but that's okay. Um, and then I just cut up some celery sticks and then I tried the orange squeeze flavored Olipop. I hadn't tried this one before, but it was pretty good. It kind of tastes like if you've ever had um, the emergencies, like the little packets that are like an immune booster. But anyway, for the rest of the night, I think I'm just going to wash my face and kind of go to bed. I think that's the end of this week's video also. So thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. And if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you next week. Bye.